Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect Google Search Console to your site. Search Console is a free tool that helps website owners understand how Google sees their site, improve its visibility in search results, and fix errors. It's a very important tool for any website owner. Let's jump right in. First, you'll need to visit the Google Search Console website and click on the Start Now button. Now, once you've logged in, you'll be asked to enter your website's URL. Now, there are two methods for site verification, domain name or URL prefix. The URL prefix method is more flexible, so that's what I'm going to be using in this tutorial. Now, keep in mind that Google considers HTTP and HTTPS as two entirely different protocols. So be sure to enter the correct URL used by WordPress. If you're unsure about that, there's an easy way to find out. Just log into your WordPress site and then go to Settings and then go to the General page and you'll see your website's URL in the address field. Now, once you've entered your website's address in the Setup Wizard, just click on the Continue button to go to the next step. Now you'll be asked to verify ownership of your website. There are several ways to do that, but I'll use the HTML tag method because it's the easiest one. So click on the HTML tag to expand it and then copy the code inside it. Now you'll need to add this Google Site Verification Meta tag to WordPress so Google can verify that you're the site owner. Most WordPress tutorials will guide you to edit the header.php file in your WordPress theme and add the code just above the head tag. However, we don't recommend that because the HTML tag will disappear if you update or change your theme. Google periodically checks for that HTML tag and will disable your access to the site if it can't find that tag. So here's how to make sure that Google can always verify ownership of the site. First, you'll need to install and activate the All-in-One SEO plugin. Now, once you've activated it, just go to your admin sidebar and then hover your mouse over All-in-One SEO and then go to General Settings. After that, go to Webmaster Tools and click on Google Search Console. Paste the code that you copied from Google Search Console into the Google Verification Code box. And don't forget to click the Save Changes button to store those changes. Now you can go back to Google Search Console settings and click on the Verify button. It's going to now look for that HTML tag on your website and will show you a success message. Now, if you don't see the success message, then just try clearing your WordPress cache so Google can fetch the latest version of your site. And that's all. You've successfully added your site to Google Search Console. Now you can click the Go to Property link to visit your Google Search Console dashboard. Now from there, you can see your site's performance reports and index coverage. You'll also want to tell Google a bit more about your site by adding an XML sitemap to the Search Console. This is going to help Google crawl your site more effectively. Now, it's easy to do since you've already installed All-in-One SEO. Your XML sitemap is created automatically. To see the sitemap, just go to All-in-One SEO and then to Sitemaps. To get the link to your XML sitemap, simply click on the Open Sitemap button and you'll see a link to your sitemap there. Now, from here, you can just copy the URL from your browser's address bar or you can just add a forward slash sitemap.xml the end of your site's web address. All right, let's help Google find your site quickly. Simply switch to the Google Search Console dashboard and click on the Sitemaps menu from the left column. After that, you just need to add the last part of your sitemap URL under the Add New Sitemap section and click the Submit button. Google will now add your sitemap URL to your Google Search Console. All-in-One SEO also comes with several other sitemaps, like video sitemaps, news sitemaps, and RSS sitemaps, which will all help you get a competitive advantage and rank higher in SEO. The process of submitting those sitemaps is the exact same as I've just described, so that's all. You successfully added your website to Google Search Console. Now let's talk about how to connect Google Search Console to Google Analytics. All you have to do is click the Admin tab on the bottom left, then find the Search Console linking button at the bottom of the property column. Next, click the blue link button. Now choose the account that you want to link. Click the checkbox next to the property and click the blue confirm button. Then click next and then click select. 
and choose a data stream by clicking Choose. Now just click Next and check that everything is correct and click Submit. And that's it. Your link is now established. To view Google Search Console reports in Google Analytics, the Search Console report is not automatically added to GA4, so you'll have to add it yourself. Just click on Library and find the Search Console card under Collections and click Edit Collection. On the next screen, click the Save button and then go back. Now find the three dots on the Search Console card. And click on it to show more options and then click the Publish button. And that's it. You should now have a new Search Console section in your navigation. Now here's how you can view your Google Search Console reports right on your WordPress dashboard. Just install the Monster Insights Pro plugin. Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics plugin for WordPress. It allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics without needing to mess with any code. All you have to do is follow the steps in the setup wizard and the plugin will automatically add Google Analytics to your site. Now, if you need a little help or more details, be sure to check out the link in the description to our guide on adding Google Analytics to WordPress. To see your search terms report, just go to the admin sidebar, then to Insights, and then Reports. Now, from there, click on the Search Console tab. Now you can see your website's top search terms organized by the number of clicks that they get in Google Search. You'll see the clicks, impressions, click-through rate, and average position. This will give you a good idea of the keywords that are bringing people to your site and also shows you the position that your keywords are ranking for in Google. There you have it. Now you know how to add Google Search Console to WordPress and Google Analytics. Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.